Over the next seven days, I'm going to attempt to build a profitable print-on-demand dropshipping business as a complete newbie. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this business model, so my plan is to spend the next couple of hours learning about it as much as I can on YouTube, then put together a plan which I will follow for the next seven days. So with that in mind, let's get started. So it's currently the 7th of June, it's 11 past 12. I'm going to spend the next four or five hours consuming all of this content. I'm going to be taking as many notes as possible. Then I'm gonna create the plan, then come back, tell you what is the plan, and only then we will start building this entire business. So without further ado, let's get to work. Round one. What's up guys? Listen, while this guy is working, I have something special for you. If this video hits 500 likes, I will personally choose two people from the comment section down below and I will give them $100 completely for free each. All you have to do is like this video and comment one main takeaway from this video below so that when the time comes, I can actually choose your name and you can win $100. But for now, let's move on with the video. A few inches later. Okay, so it's been four and a half hours so far and I have my plan ready. I know what to do and hopefully this is going to help me to get some sales. So the first thing I need to do is find sub niche that is not saturated. To do that, I'm going to use merchinformer.com. Then I'm going to go to ChatGPT, ask it to create a couple different slogans. After I have the slogans, I'm going to go to placeit.net. That's where I'm going to complete the entire design. After I have the design, I think I can go to Printify, create the account there, upload my design over there. So it's going to create a couple different t-shirts and all of the different merches that I'm going to be selling. After that's done, I'm going to create Shopify store because that's where we're going to sell everything. And then when I have that done, I'm going to create Facebook page and Instagram page. And when all of that is ready, I can then create ads and we can see what's gonna happen next. Time for another update, guys. It's day number two. It is one minute to 7 p.m., so pretty much the end of the day. Right now, I finished working on the ads. They are now in the review, so all we need to do now is wait until they will get approved, and then we can take things from there. So just to quickly fill you in, I decided to go with tattoo artists as a niche, simply because it is very specific, which means it's easier to target and to actually get to this type of client, and at the same time, time it seems unsaturated so let's see what's gonna happen I created four different designs two of the designs are unisex so they were both for men and women and then I specifically created one separate design for men and one separate design for women so when they do get into the store there are a couple different designs they can choose from which hopefully will increase the chances of getting profitable sales now this is the store that I actually created it's nothing too crazy very basic story if you like on Shopify in but it has everything it needs to have to actually get some sales next day the next day I asked the next day the motherfucker was dead and I'm dead because this challenge is not going well at all guys it's day six and I haven't made even one sale yet we had a couple of hiccups along the way which slowed down the progress of this entire challenge but at the same time we still have entire today and a little bit of tomorrow to actually make it work and I just made a couple of changes which hopefully will still help us to win this challenge so let me fill you in now as you remember on day two I created this first campaign unfortunately Facebook Facebook didn't approve this campaign until day three and immediately after they approved the campaign they restricted my account because they needed to verify my identity so I was not able to run ads until day four so then day four this first campaign was released and finally we started getting some data now unfortunately this campaign flopped the overall click-through rate was half percent and I was paying on average two dollars fifty six cents per click so that was mental but then I realized that obviously Facebook needs a lot longer to optimize the ads, especially that I was targeting both males and females in each of the ad sets and I was running carousel ads. So for Facebook, it would take some time before learning which designs to show to what people, right? Because at the moment, Facebook was showing female designs to males, male designs to females. So that was a disaster. So when I realized this, I decided to stop the campaign and on day five, I released a new campaign and this time 
targeting males and females in separate ad sets. So as you can see, I had 10 different ad sets and this worked out pretty well because two of the designs actually were working pretty well. So we were generating clicks for like 58 cents here, 66 cents here, and then dollar here, dollar 81 here. But bear in mind that we still didn't spend a lot of money on those ads. But still, we now have two designs that are actually attracting some clicks and pretty decent price per click. So what I decided to do today, day six, is ditch all of the designs that are not attracting any people yet and only focus on the two designs that are seem to actually work. And today I increased the ad spend to $20 per day instead of $10 per day only for those designs that actually work. So I'm going to let this campaign run for the rest of today and a little bit of tomorrow and let's see what's gonna happen. Now there's one more thing that I actually changed and updated and this is the store itself. Now, for those of you guys who are following me for quite some time, you know that last year I built a dropshipping store which generated 200,000 or almost $200,000 in sales. So what I decided to do this time is to take the exact same theme and create this store in the same way as I did the dropshipping store that generated so many sales. So it looks, in my opinion, a lot, a lot better than the previous one that I created. So hopefully this will help us out a little bit as well. I updated the logo as well as I made it feel a lot more branded because I put the logo on those guys right here and I added this frequently asked questions right there. So when people land on this store, they can actually feel like, you know, it's a legitimate brand. Final round. And now the moment we've been all waiting for. Did we make any profits? But first, let's take a look how much money we've actually spent during this entire challenge, and then let's see if we made some profits. So I had to invest in two different softwares and obviously spend money on ads. Now, the first software I spent money on was Merge Informer, and this is where we actually designed our designs. That was $7.99. Then the second software was placeit.net and this is where we could do the niche research or market research and this is where we could take our designs and slap them on real t-shirts and real models which we could then use in our shop and that was $14.95 and the last $175.49 went towards Facebook ads. So all in all we have spent $198 and 43 cents so now let's take a look at ads let's see how they perform so as you can see we have both campaigns right here and those campaigns perform very very bad as you can see the cost per click it's a unique cost per click but that was still 244 on average only 0.84 percent unique click through rate which in my opinion is very very bad usually normally i would not continue running ads with those metrics but for the sake of this challenge i just wanted to see what's gonna happen at the same time though did those ads actually convert so let's take a look at my shopify dashboard so shopify dashboard right there what happened there whopping zero sales unfortunately we didn't make any sales at all now shopify shows that we had 205 visits from united states which is big difference to what facebook shows and we only had seven reached checkouts which in reality we probably had only three reached checkouts because the remaining four was me so complete flop this challenge did not go very very well but I did learn a lot of things. So when I was doing my initial research about this business model, I found out that there are two ways of running this print-on-demand business model. The first one is an active business model, active way, which is what we've done during this challenge, running Facebook ads towards your shop and basically manage the entire traffic yourself. The second one, which is what most people do on YouTube, it takes longer time, but it's called passive way of running this business which means you don't have to spend any money at all on ads because you will be uploading your designs to websites like um, Amazon On Demand or something like that, I can't remember now. Then there's a Redbubble or Etsy and many different websites where you can actually upload your design, create a listing, and those websites will drive traffic to your listings themselves. So you don't have to pay 
for it anything. Now the profit margins are a lot lower but at the same time it's truly passive income if you create a design that people actually want to buy because then you don't have to worry about anything other than just creating different designs. So maybe that's the way to go but it would take at least a month or maybe even a couple of months before you build your income to a thousand plus levels but maybe that's something to do in the future now if you enjoyed this challenge and you like watching challenges like this stay tuned make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video because my next challenge will be something different so I recently asked all of my subscribers to give me a feedback about my entire dropshipping journey to point out all of the different mistakes I've done which is why at the end I decided to quit and I have an entire list from people telling me what I should do differently to make it work and my next challenge I'm actually going to attempt to test another set of different dropshipping products taking an account all of the different advice I received from my subscribers and followers and see if I can actually make it work with all of the help from all of you guys. So if you're interested, make sure to stay tuned, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and if you want to watch another challenge, click on this video right here where I have spent $1,000 testing different dropshipping products to see if I can actually succeed with only $1,000 budget. But for now, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for staying and see you in the next one.